Okay, I want you guys to play a one quick question game when I'm gone next week or the week after. Here's how the one quick question game goes. Okay, Professor Canada or one of your teachers would go around this room and there's like 30 of them. He, he or she would put together a list, a one page list with just one question about you folks. Just one thing, like played soccer in Europe or played whatever, whatever did, just one thing about, about your brand. And you'd have this on a one list, okay? Then you play the game. You can only ask one question to a side mate. You can ask that question about that person to see if you really know that person. This game will really tell you if any of you know each other in this room. If you can pick out that person by that one question, by that brand question that's, that's done. It's a pretty exciting game. We did this game just very shortly ago. We didn't realize that our new rep, Tom Timmons, who'd been with us for three months, he played professional soccer in Europe. Had no idea. Had no idea. And he kept this to himself. So our training manager remarked at the start of your conversation, he said, lead with your personal brand. Lead with your personal brand. You've got to perfect your own story about yourself. But you've got to start leading those conversations with your brand. Tom didn't want to tell us. There's nothing wrong with that. Matter of fact, it opened up everyone's eyes. It actually gained a new respect for Tom. Tom actually is looked in a different way right now, in a sense of, in a good way, because he's able to leave with that. Because that, you know, you talk about someone who played professional soccer in Europe, you're going, wow, he's got dedication, probably hard work. He probably had to get out. I mean, there's just lots of things you can learn about people. If I was in this room 30 something years ago, I never started my brand. <laughs> I didn't start my brand until five, six, seven years into it. A brand is a symbol, design name, a sound reputation that separates one thing from another. I love this second part. If a company or a person isn't strong at branding themselves, if you folks in this room don't brand yourself, who will, Emily? Everyone else does it, don't they? And your colleagues will, your customers in the marketplace. So it's kind of a good idea to start first time huh? branding yourself, okay? And work, and work on that, right? But I like that because it is all about that. And here's what happens if you don't brand yourself or at least recognize what brand you want to be and work on that brand and develop that brand, then obviously other people will do it for you. And you don't want that.